As Israel is moving toward an all-out war with Hezbollah, it becomes more and more important for the world to know about the military might of Hezbollah, because the IDF is already stuck in Gaza, and a war with Hezbollah would escalate the conflict to a catastrophe for the region and for the world. If we look at the military might of Hezbollah, it is regarded as the most powerful non-state actor, more so that it is even considered more powerful than the Lebanese army. Hezbollah was formed in the 80s, after which some other armed organizations also assimilated in it. In 2022, Sayed Hassan Nasrallah revealed that the armed wing of Hezbollah maintains a battle-ready ground force of at least 100,000 men. The party's leader stipulated that this did not include the many allied militia forces and the group's special forces units, known as the Radwan forces. As of now, the true size of Hezbollah's rocket and missile arsenal is unknown and is only based upon rough estimates. Since October 8th, Hezbollah's forces have been engaged in daily battles along the border areas of northern Israel, having carried out hundreds of strikes with suicide drones, guided anti-tank weapons, rockets and mortars, as well as sniper fire. Hundreds of buildings in Israeli settlements have been damaged as the result of the munitions fired from Lebanon, and Hezbollah claims to have inflicted over 2,000 casualties against Israeli soldiers and settlers. Unlike is the case with the Palestinian armed groups based in Gaza, it is understood that Hezbollah has the capabilities of carrying out strikes against Israeli cities that can match the destruction against Lebanon. If a war is to break out between Lebanon and Israel, Hezbollah is believed to have the capacity to level entire suburbs in cities such as Haifa and Tel Aviv. Often described as simply a proxy army of the Islamic Republic of Iran, the group's political wing is engaged in the Lebanese democratic process and has sitting members of parliament. It is also governed by its own independent Shura Council, and the connection to Iran comes in the form of financial and military support, in addition to a close religious alignment. Hezbollah maintains close contact with the Palestinian resistance factions and is believed to have provided them with weapons and training, as well as logistical support. Hezbollah's military strength is underpinned by upwards of 150,000 missiles and rockets of various types and ranges, according to the World Factbook of the U.S. Central Intelligence Agency. Hezbollah says it has rockets that can hit all areas of Israel. Many of them are unguided, but it also has precision missiles, drones, and anti-tank, anti-aircraft, and anti-ship missiles. Hezbollah's main supporter and weapons supplier is Iran. Analysts say Tehran sends arms to the group by land via Iraq and Syria, both Middle Eastern countries where Iran has close ties and influence. Many of the Shiite Muslim group's weapons are Iranian, Russian, or Chinese models. Nasrallah said in 2021 the group has 100,000 fighters. The CIA World Factbook says it was estimated in 2022 to have up to 45,000 fighters, split between roughly 20,000 full-time and 25,000 reserve personnel. Hezbollah used guided anti-tank missiles extensively in the 2006 war. It has deployed guided rockets again in the latest hostilities. These include the Russian-made Kornet. Hezbollah has also used an Iranian-made guided missile known as Al-Mas, according to a report by the pro-Iran Arabic broadcaster Al-Mayadeen. A report by Israel's Alma Research and Education Center published in April described the Al-Mas as an anti-tank weapon that can hit targets beyond the line of sight following an arched trajectory, enabling it to strike from above. The missile is part of a family of weapons made by Iran through reverse engineering based on the Israeli spike missile family, the report said. It said the missile was a flagship product of Iran's defense industry in Hezbollah's possession. Hezbollah said on June 6 it had fired at an Israeli warplane. A source familiar with its arsenal said it was the first time the group had done so, calling it a milestone, while declining to identify the weapon used. Hezbollah has also shot down Israeli drones during this conflict, using surface-to-air missiles. 
The first such incident was on Oct 29, when Hezbollah for the first time said it had used anti-aircraft weaponry it had long been thought to have. Hezbollah has used such missiles several times since, downing Israeli Hermes 450 and Hermes 900 drones. Hezbollah has repeatedly launched explosive one-way drones, including in some of its more complicated attacks. It launched some to distract Israeli air defenses while explosives-laden drones were flown at targets. More recently, the group has announced attacks that use drones that drop bombs and return to Lebanon, rather than just flying at their targets. Hezbollah's drones include what it says are the locally assembled Ayub and Mursad models, which analysts say are cheap and relatively easy to produce. Unguided rockets comprised the bulk of Hezbollah's missile arsenal in the last war with Israel in 2006, when the group fired about 4,000 of them into Israel, mostly Russian-made Katyusha-style missiles with a range of up to 30 kilometers and 19 miles. Nasrallah has said the biggest change in Hezbollah's arsenal since 2006 is the expansion of its precision guidance systems. In 2022, he said Hezbollah had the ability within Lebanon to retrofit thousands of rockets with guidance systems to make them precision missiles. Hezbollah has Iranian models, such as Rad, Arabic for Thunder, Fajr, Dawn, and Zilzal, Earthquake, Rockets, which have a more powerful payload and longer range than Katyusha's. Rockets fired by Hezbollah at Israel during the Gaza conflict since October have included Katyusha's and Burkhan, volcano missiles, with an explosive payload of 300-500 kilograms. It's Iranian-made Falak-2 rockets it used for the first time on June 8th could carry a bigger warhead than the Falak-1 used in the past. Hinting at the damage it could do, Nasrallah in 2016 made a veiled threat that Hezbollah could hit ammonia storage tanks in the northern Israeli port city of Haifa, saying the result would be like a nuclear bomb. Hezbollah first proved it had anti-ship missiles in 2006, when it hit an Israeli warship 16 kilometers, 10 miles, off the coast, killing four Israeli personnel and damaging the vessel. Since the 2006 war, Hezbollah has acquired the Russian-made Yakont anti-ship missile with a range of 300 kilometers, 186 miles, sources familiar with its arsenal say. Hezbollah has not confirmed it has the weapon. Hezbollah has also broadcast videos that it says show more of the same type of anti-ship missile used in 2006.